Welcome to Websites for Beginners with JP. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at where you can get and how to set up your Google Maps API. Why would you need a Google Maps API? Well, for many page builders, add-ons and plugins that you use on your website, they often will tell you that they require a Google Maps API. This allows for the widget to display maps properly on your site. We're not going to go and get technical and try to figure out why you need to do that. All you need to know is that you need to do it. So first, let's look at where to get it. Go to your browser and then search for Google Maps platform. You will see one that says cloud.google.com. This is the one that you need to select. What you will need, though, is a Google or a Gmail account. You can see I am already logged in. This is the easy step. Now we set up your Google Maps API key, and that is very easy by clicking on Get Started. Make sure that you select all three of these products. You may be thinking that you only need the maps, but it is better that you choose all three because the add-on, the plugin, or the widget that you are using may require all three. And by not selecting all three, it will not display properly. So I'm going to choose all three. The next thing that will happen is for you to give your API key a name. Google calls it a project. You can just say it's a name. Click on it and says create a new project. I'm going to call it Websites for Beginners. Click Next. The next step will be for you to set up a billing account. If you've never set up a billing account, you will need to get your credit card and set it up. If you have a small concern, don't worry, it's going to be free. You still need to set up your billing account. On the other hand, if you have, like me, registered before, all you need to do is click on Set Account. The next step will be then for you to enable the APIs. This is the nice thing about the process I'm showing you because you don't need to go and do these things individually. You just click on Next. And finally, you will be done. Google will give you your API key, and all you need to do is copy and then paste it within your page builder. There is my API key. Click here on Copy. To improve your app security, restrict this key's usage in the API console. Now, there are a few more steps that you can follow. Click on API console, and it will take you to where you can set up the restrictions for your API key. And why would you want to do that? You see, this API key can be used by anyone. You may have a small website, which means you'll always be using it for free. But somebody else may copy it, and they may have a huge website with 25,000 hits per day, and then it's going to be charged to your account. So to make sure that they don't do that, you restrict your API. The first part you have to do is click your on HTTP referrers. Then you have to set up your website address over here. Now, what you should do is go copy your website address. So for in this case, HTTPS. And now you must put in an asterisk and then the rest of your website's name. Why? Because that will allow for subdomains as well as other URL extensions. And then you save it. Now you have restricted your API. This is entirely up to you. The previous process where I had showed you how to copy your API and then you can go into your plugin and paste it, that is good enough. But if you are afraid that somebody's going to break in there and steal it and use it, better go and restrict it. This is the easy process for setting up your Google Maps API. Hope you found this video and tutorial helpful. Please click below if you want to subscribe to our channel and let me know. Give me some feedback on anything else you think we can be doing here at Websites for Beginners.